Hey guys, so before you watch today's video on elbow stands, I just wanted to make a quick point about why our video is how it is and what it is that we're trying to do here. So you get a lot of tutorials and it's the professional person showing you how to do the movement and everything's perfect, like all the stages they do, everything's perfect. So the whole reason me and Pixie wanted to do these videos was to show a real life accurate indication of what it is going to look like, the struggles you're going to have and what it's really like when you're a beginner just trying to get these movements. I'm not going to be perfect, there's a lot of stuff that I'm not going to get right and technique that's going to be wrong. So I hope it is useful, I hope you do enjoy it. Um, we do say in this video but if there is anything in particular that you want to learn please let us know, put it in the comments below and then we can do it as a future video. We really appreciate everyone who's been watching them so far, we hope they have been of help. I've enjoyed it. <laughs> so this video is a bit different in that I've done voiceover as well and I have done a running commentary on how much it killed me because this one really did kill me. I felt so ill at the end, I had a proper headache and stuff like that just from being upside down for so long and the back bending. And you know, you may experience that as well, so at least you know that it's not just you. Because when I used to try and practice handstands before, I used to always get a really bad headache. And I thought there was something wrong with me, so I thought, oh, well, I'm just not going to be able to do them. Because I didn't think other people experienced that, and then I realised that it is a normal thing to have. If you do get headaches and stuff like that, just take a rest. Because if you just keep going, it's, you're just going to make it worse, and you're not going to be able to get anything out of the movement. So do just stop, rest, try and ease it off, come back the next day, whatever. Yeah, it is normal to be feeling that way, so... I hope you like it. Bye. Hi guys, so welcome to part six of our contortion series. Today it's all about elbow stands. So we'll be showing you some techniques, how to balance your elbow stands or forearm stands on your own um, with a spotter and learning how to press out of them. So enjoy it. It's really important to be able to do straight elbow stands, like straight handstands, as well as the bendy ones. It helps to keep your spine strong so you don't get injured from just doing too many bendy shapes. So we're going to warm up with some straight elbow stands. You could do these against the wall if you don't have a spotter. Like we said at the beginning, this is just your warm up, so just do it against the wall, obviously if you don't have anyone else to spot you, but the whole reason why we got Pixie to spot me rather than me doing it against the wall is it just was easier to film that way with the camera and it's just a bit more easier to see. But yeah, just go up against the wall, just warming up the shoulders so you're good to go for the rest of it. So here we are just warming up the different variations, so we've done the straight elbow, we're doing straddle, tucks. So just getting all the movements really in that you'd want to do in your elbow stands. Pixie always gets me to do some way I'm just holding it. So just really trying to get my body used to being in that shape. And then also jumping into it so I get used to pushing myself up. feeling warm make sure you really stretch out 
your back, shoulders and legs before you do the bendy elbow stands. So you could do the legs and shoulders and back videos first. So once you've warmed your back up and your shoulders and legs and if you've got someone who can spot you, you can try some different shapes in your elbow stand using your back bend. So if you're spotting someone, make sure you're not just holding them and you're trying to find their balance for them. Again guys, if you don't have someone to spot you, just use the wall. This one's a really good one to do against the wall because you can just keep tapping your toe against it, trying to get yourself that balance point. So a common thing that can go wrong is that your shoulders can drop forwards and your face goes closer to the floor. So make sure you're always trying to keep your shoulders back, opening your shoulders and that they're at least on top of your elbows, so directly over your elbows which would mean that your elbows are shoulder width apart. So if you saw the handstand video, you would have seen the handstand fingers. Try and use these when you're doing your elbow stands, especially if you're not used to it. So really grip the floor all the time. Try not to move your legs around to find the balance. So just use your hands and some fingers gripping and elbows. If your shoulders keep dropping forwards, it might be a flexibility issue in your shoulders if your shoulders are tight. So just keep trying to push them backwards or it might be a strength issue. So again, Pixie's just taking me through different shapes here. So just showing the nice bends that you can do in your elbow stands. There's quite a lot to be fair. And this actually did really burn me out. really hate this one because I always feel like I'm gonna fall forwards and I feel like I might die it's quite it's quite intense <laughs> and this one as well anything where both my feet are over it together I just feel like I'm gonna topple over and break my neck that's why this one's actually a good one for the wall because at least you know you've got the wall there behind you, so you'll be fine. This one I'd never done before, so I wasn't quite sure how big Pixie wanted me to bend. That's why you can probably see her pushing her finger into my thigh there, because I wasn't sure which way I was going. But it's quite a nice shape. Just got to hold that balance. So if you're on your own, you could use a bench or a sofa or a mat to try and find your balance on your own. Start with it as high as you need to. The higher you start, the easier it's going to be. And then kick over into your elbow bridge. And then lift one leg up. Keep it bent at the back, don't split it. 
if you're not used to it, the splitting it will just make you come out of it more easily. So keep it bent and stagged at the back and then just really carefully try and lift your front leg up and use your fingers and elbows to balance as much as you can. So if it's easy to come out of it with one leg, try two legs at the same time. When you're doing these, try as much as you can not to kick and just push down with your hands and keep lifting your head up and rotating your shoulders until your feet come off the mat. And if it's easy, keep trying to go lower. So as you go lower, the more you'll need to press out and not use any momentum or kick. If you kick, you're more likely to lose the balance and just come out of it. So really try and just use your strength, push down with your hands and look up. So with two feet, it's really difficult. And yeah, I couldn't get any lower than just the first level for this one. It's not very good, but yeah. If you're able to keep doing it, just go lower and lower until you're managing to do it on the floor. So I need to point out that by this point I was really fried, my shoulders were absolutely killing me. I had a really bad headache because when I got upside down for too long my head really starts to hurt, which you need to be careful of as well. If you do start to feel that you get a headache then stop, just give yourself time or maybe even stop completely if it's not going away because it is really painful and it's not any good if you're training with a headache. It happens just from being upside down and also bending the back I find is what really stresses it on me. So yeah, so by this point we had been filming for quite a long time and it was hitting me but I was really just trying to push through because obviously I wanted to get all the footage but yeah, so my elbow stands are not great from this point on but pff, I was so tired so you know, just bear with me, I tried, I really did try. is eventually to obviously be able to do this from the floor as you can see I'm starting to kick now I'm not really pressing because like I said I was really tired but just make sure you do try and press just rest as much as you need to and if you do need to stop then stop because obviously as you get tired you're just not going to get as much out of it it does take a lot of practice and obviously another big thing I struggle with which you'll find as well is just the balancing at the top so you may be able to press out but then you just have to really practice trying to find that balance point so you can actually hold the elbow stand for a long time as you can see I'm struggling a bit here and I'm gone I tried to record these ones on the floor like I think four or five or maybe even six times and then by the end I just gave up because I thought I'm actually killing myself doing this I felt so ill after this, I had to lie on Pixie's sofa for about an hour while she, well, I don't even know how long I was lying there, but I felt so sick, I felt so dizzy, I had a headache, just all from doing this, it, it does really affect you. So I hope you've had as much fun as me practicing this. Thank you again for watching, hope it was useful, we will be doing another part to elbow stance where we press into them, is that right? Yeah, yeah, pressing into them. We were meant to record it all in one, but I couldn't because I couldn't handle any more. So if there's any other tricks or certain contortion moves that you guys want to see, please let us know. Just put them in the comments below and we can do that for a future video. Thank you. Bye.